Well, it was a very difficult couple of weeks, but the dry period is officially over, and we have come out on the other side with a very clear idea of where Kanye is taking the Vultures to roll out next. I love leaking! Yesterday, we finally got the rare debut of a full Kanye interview that he did with Justin LeBoy, which was pretty entertaining. My overall takeaways from the first episode of the download are that LeBoy definitely needs to put in work to improve as an interview host because holy shit, the amount of wows he was throwing out was bonkers. We also, of course, got the official announcement straight from Kanye himself regarding May 3rd being the release date for Vultures 2. Vultures 2. Is Vultures mm. 2 coming out? When is it coming out? It's coming out May 3rd. May 3rd for sure. Yeah. Stamp. Yeah. There you have it. I'm going to be honest, the way he kind of glossed over Vultures 2 and quickly mumbled May 3rd as his answer before promptly shifting to the next question does not exactly inspire the utmost confidence that Kanye is actually going to drop this album. Of course, we know he's had his eyes on May 3rd for more than a few weeks now since sending the initial DM to Baby Key memes back on March 15th. Despite Kanye's lack of enthusiasm and the overall lack of discussion during the interview about Vultures 2, the fact that Kanye's been targeting this date for so long, I think means he's pretty serious about it. According to Joyboy, over on the Good Ass subreddit, there was apparently about 15 minutes of cut footage from the interview, and we even got some clips from these cut portions that were used as ads prior to the interview dropping. Like, I mean, that me, looks, me neither. That looks, it looks gay, so it's like funny, you know, when It looks people, mutual, though. Yeah, it looks mutually gay. <laughs> After the conclusion of the interview debut, LeBoy took to Twitter to let fans know that we can actually expect a part two of this entire thing next week, saying it gets better. After this, LeBoy also asked fans on Twitter to send in some questions to ask Ye on the next episode of The Download to turn it up a notch before Vultures 2. It's really not clear at this point if the download is solely Justin's thing because the way he's been talking makes it seem like it's actually him and Ye, but I just can't see Ye sitting down for more interviews after part two, so we'll just have to wait and see. I personally would suggest going to LeBoy's tweet and asking questions regarding the state of Donda 2 songs and Young Lean, since that appears to be something Kanye has been working through lately with how much him and Young Lean have been hanging out. There's probably no point in spam tweeting Justin to ask Kanye about Can You Be, because I actually highly doubt Kanye even remembers the song at this point because of how old it is. Of course, now that we know May 3rd is the new target release date for Vultures 2, it would only make sense for Kanye to really crank things up to 10, and according to Joyboy, that is exactly what's happening. St. Leon made another post on Good Ass Sub after speaking about the cut portions of the LeBoy interview to inform everyone that the dry season is over, and we should all prepare for the rollout to be brought back up to speed once again. Joyboy specifically mentioned the existence of upcoming listening parties, which could very well be at locations plucked from the previous scrapped set from early April. Just in the month of April, shows in Charlotte, DC, Nashville, Tampa, Fort Lauderdale, Pittsburgh, and Egypt were all postponed from their original dates, and now it seems like some of these locations could be coming back. We don't yet know how many live events Kanye wants to host before May 3rd, but I would safely bet on at least two to three listening parties taking place at some of the previously selected locations. Joyboy also revealed in the comments of his posts that supposedly the Fuck Some remix with JPEG Mafia production and the scrapped Quavo feature is actually going to be dropping, despite us hearing that it was scrapped a few days ago, and that Kanye has not yet made up his mind about bringing Vultures 2 to streaming platforms, although it is still most certainly going to the Yeezy app first. Finally, I need to do a bit of housekeeping and address some recent concerns. Concerns. The two Vultures 3 snippets for Not Inclusive and Welcome to UCLA that I covered in my video yesterday have now been confirmed to be 100% fake and made by AI. In the past, fans have used AI models to input their own rapping and have it spit out in the tone of another person like Kanye, but these two snippets were created using Udio, which supposedly builds the song from the ground up, which is why they were so convincing.
Nothing. And now let's talk about the Kanye and Childish Gambino collab song debuted on Gilga Radio two nights ago. Handles, duck and paparazzi. They were calling a scandal, but niggas love to watch me. Really, I'm like Brando. I'd rather have no regrets, but yo, my agent just called and said, yo, say less. Niggas waiting on the throne like, ho, say yes. I took my shoes out the store, they the new pay less. That's the new God flow, but I don't pray less. Yeah. I would love for this collab to be 100% real, but for me personally, there's a few things that stick out. It's clear that these vocals from Kanye are not at all recent, as he raps much differently now than he did back in, say, 2013, which means the vocals would have to be old. But we know the vocals aren't that old because they contain modern references like a Keith Lee bar. So my big question is, how could Gambino get 2013 Kanye-style rapping with 2024 lyrical content to which I think the only answer is a sophisticated AI model. As of right now, we don't know for sure if Kanye's parts are AI, so I'm curious to hear everybody's opinions and why you think it is or isn't legit. Lastly, before the end of the video, we got a bit of new info on an updated Vultures version of Someday We'll All Be Free that now supposedly features Ty Dolla Sign singing the Donny Hathaway sample with two brand new verses from Kanye. <laughs> Never rock with none of y'all, no way. no way. And I'm pulling up in that white OJ. Used to wear a watch feel with the O'Shea's. The general consensus for Someday We'll All Be Free was that it had an incredible sample, but was kind of ruined by the circumstances of its release and Kanye's public statements at the time. So hearing that it's now overhauled is great news, since again, it's a generational sample that deserves 2024 Vultures Kanye level love and attention. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And let me know down in the comments if you think the Gambino and Kanye song is AI or totally legit.